Hello, this is Susan Jacob and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my technique of customized CARES. CARES is an acronym that I coined for a technique that I described in 2015 and it stands for corneal allogenic intrastromal ring segments and of course I've been speaking about this for quite some time now. In this video, I'd like to share my technique of customization, which also I've been doing for some time now. These are my financial disclosures. Now I'd like to reiterate that though I have used a donor corneoscleral rim here, this could also be prepared using any source of allogenic tissue such as process, package or any other kind of allogenic tissue. You can see me here using a donor corneoscleral rim and as you can see I have removed the epithelium completely and then I removed the uh, rim from the uh, artificial anterior chamber and also removed the endothelium completely. Of course, in those places where there is a shortage of donor cornea, you could use the inner central part after excising the care segment for other uses such as for a DALC or a penetrating keratoplasty, for example, by not removing the endothelium. Now, this is a special double-bladed refine for which I have a patent pending and uh, you can see that it has got two concentric blades, one within each other and these are available in different diameters. We use generally two standard diameters and uh, you can see me here placing the refine over the donor corneoscleral rim center and then making sure that both the blades have cut through the tissue. We now have the circular segment of the donor stromal tissue which is present between the two blades of the trifine and what I do is mark the Bauman side by just using a marker pen and then remove it from the trifine and place it on a Teflon block. So you can see that the anterior surface of the Bauman side is marked whereas the endothelial side is not. I then cut it into a longitudinal segment of uh, whatever length that you would like to use. I flatten it out and you can see that the uh, part of uh, the cornea that is towards the Bauman side flattens less than the endothelial side. Now I have taken the desired length of segment and this is a special degree zone marker that I have designed. Uh, it is of course also soon going to be available in a titanium model and I do not have any financial interest in it. Now what this uh, degree zone marker helps me do is to accurately uh, mark on the care segment uh, the length of the segment that I need to be uh, implanted into the patient's eye. So you can see here that I have put three marks on it uh, and one of them will be for creating a taper. So uh, the first mark is cut and the second mark is also cut that gives us the total length of the segment and you can see between the second and the last mark I also create a tapered segment. So this segment is uh, full thickness uh, in one part and tapered in the other part and this is used for tailoring the care segment specifically to the individual patient's topography thereby being able to get a better result and uh, making it more customized for each patient. As I said I've been doing it for some time now and have presented my results in multiple meetings. You can have different kinds of customized segments as I'll show later in this video. Now as generally done the patient's eye is marked and a femtosecond laser dissected uh, channel is created in the patient's eye. This circular intrastromal channel can also be created manually in those uh, places where the femtosecond laser is not available. You can see the customized care is now ready for insertion and insertion is really very easy. These are again instruments that I have fashioned myself. So a curved wire rod helps insert it uh, further into the channel and if you want to bring it further forwards, you can use a curved reverse Sinsky to pull it into position. Uh, you can see that the marking on the anterior or the Bauman side helps us to uh, make sure that the care segment is not twisted and that it is uh, placed in the right position. If there is a twist, it is really quite easy to untwist it and get it into the right orientation. Once the care is inserted, if uh, cross-linking is also planned in the same session, the epithelium can be removed and uh, the cross-linking can be proceeded with. Now here are some examples of customization. This inferior care segment is thinner towards one end and thicker towards the other end and you can see that the amount of flattening also correspondingly is less towards the thin end and more towards the thicker end. Another example again where a tapered segment cares is used and uh, you can see that again the amount of flattening that is obtained is differential and thus we can utilize this uh, property to be able to topographically customize the uh, results. Customization need not only be tapered ends but you could also have various different kinds of customization such as in width or thickness or even in shapes. Here you can see a segment that is customized to be a rectangular at either end one of which is less than the other. These two ends are connected by a thin isthmus of tissue which is placed at the less steep portion on the patient's topography with the thicker ends being placed over the more steep areas. Customization as I said is planned according to the patient's topography and is then very easily cut into shape using the degree zone marker. It could also be of course customized using the femtosecond laser. Customization could also be attained by using a thicker segment on one side and a thinner one on the other side or by using a combination of broader and narrow segments or segments of different arc lengths. Thank you so much for listening to me. I do hope this video was educational and useful to you.